Oh, here they come. The heroes. Look at the hero. We got to honor them. Which heroes? Well, we're honoring you. Well, no, you're the hero. Which? I thought we were the heroes. No, no, we're all heroes. There's a lot of room for all the heroes. We can have heroes as far as the eye can see. I just can't believe this is the world that we live in. Everyone is a hero. And you know what? Let's just forget. Let's just not even bother addressing the fact that we missed Holocaust Remembrance Day, otherwise known as Holocaust Day, although known as Yom HaShoah Day. Um, and that was observed this year on April 20th. April 20th? Isn't that the day that the Fuhrer was born? I, I just find that a little strange, but I don't even care. Whatever, right? So let's go on to... Hero Worship Day. So the, the mayor of New York, right, he wants to have a party. He wants to schedule a parade. We have to have a parade. You know, we're going to have one, and what are we going to do? Well, we got to honor somebody, right? Well, we have a new band of heroes, okay? See, we got new heroes, and these are the medical heroes. I call them the, the Miros, right? We're all excited to have them out there on the front lines, they say. They're a, we're on the front lines. You know, uh, forget the fact that we're economically broke. You know, that we don't have a pot to, you know, we got nothing. I mean, the economic downturn is so big, it can't even be described. There's nothing to compare it to. And we're just in the beginning, I think. I don't know, right? Who knows? I have no idea. It just seems like it would be the greatest, biggest, most horrible economic tragedy ever. And God forbid there's like another wave of uh, you-know-what coming like in six months. Hey, it's back. It's just like the Spanish one. Ole! The Spanish one. Remember that from 1919? That came back with a, with a vengeance. So I guess there's that. So they're planning this great big parade. I got to honor them. more heroes, right? Uh, in the midst of, uh, you know, they admit the city faced all these shortages of masks and gowns and ventilators and whatever else they didn't have. We're going to be ready this time. Well, you'd think that they, well, let's just not have a parade. You know, maybe we should just use that money and, uh, you know, and buy masks and ventilators and, and gowns. <laughs> gowns and masks. So they're going to have themselves a great big hero worshiping parade. And this got me thinking about, you know, the one world religion that people talk about here a lot end times, you know, the uh, Catholic Church or whatever, you know, some hodgepodge of all the religions, all the man-made religions put together. You got a big hat gown guy and he's got like a crescent moon cross, star for M fan and, and whatever, right? Just one big thing. And I'm thinking, I don't know if that's the religion. I think the one world religion is just the worship of man, right? Humanism or something like that. It just We just worship man. You know, and it's and it's about heroes. It's everyone's a hero. You know, you got your you got your 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 blue line heroes. You know, you got your red line heroes, and, and of course you got you know your camouflage heroes. Good heavens! Like, thank you for your service. 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 Thank thank you for your service. Thank, thank you for your service. Thank, do you have a military ID card for your discount? No. Well, sorry. No, thank you for your service. Your service was too long ago. You don't get a discount. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm all bent out of shape. Hey, where's my discount? What about my service? Well, what did you do? Well, I cleaned toilets and, you know, I drank beer and, and I had a good time, really. Went fishing up in Alaska. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. But not your service. Your service expired. Anyway, all kinds of heroes. Oh, with a teacher. We got to have teachers. There's lots. There's 12 reasons. I didn't even see that. I should have read that first. There's 12 reasons why, um, well, where'd it go? What are the 12 reasons that they're heroes? I want to know. I'm sure it's important. But anyway, we got all kinds of heroes. Um, and now, of course, we have um, the medical heroes, right? We got to have another brand, another set. I mean, we have to have some sort of uh, worship going on of some class of people. And I'm thinking, what do these people all have in common? Other than their people and their um, heroes, right? <laughs> it's like... Well, the one thing they have in common is none of them are heroes. Well, that makes sense. You know, when did I guess it's really just the definition, semantics or something. Like, I'm thinking of a hero. You know, the only hero that I 
have ever seen in my life is this guy here. There he is, Peter. Peter Brady, 11, risks his own life to save young girl. There it is. There's, there's the hero. Right? It's the only hero I've ever seen that I know of because um, he didn't get paid. He's just some little kid. And he like uh, I couldn't find the clip in the uh, in the toy store. He runs over. I think the girl was climbing up on the uh, on the shelves, and they were coming unhinged, and the whole thing was going to collapse on her. And Peter, the boy hero, he ran over there and grabbed her and pulled her out of the way, and then the whole thing came crashing down on him. And then of course it became like this big old thing, or he wanted to have a party for himself and whatever. But he wasn't getting paid, right? He wasn't getting paid to do anything. He was uh. He did something out of the ordinary. You know, he did something that no one expected him to do. It's not like, um, you know, what are you, you're a hero, what do you do? I, I teach kids and you're getting paid well to do that. Or, you know, I mean, what, why are they honoring certain groups of people, you know, the heroes when you're just doing your job, right? You signed up to do this and you're getting paid. In some cases, pretty well. I mean, I think all of these people, Positions are pretty well-paying jobs. I don't want to be a cop, but I mean, they get a pension and benefits and stuff like that, and um, they're all getting, you know, whatever. It's just sort of the same old thing. We have to have heroes, and it's got to be, you know, uh, it's got to be a movie. Life is a movie. That's all it is. Right? They they try to make it a movie. You know, they're gonna have all the background music, make everyone feel really good. You know, everyone's running around all excited and happy. But it's it's just a joke. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. You know, I mean, who has time to stand around and watch police cars driving in circles, right, and, and fire engines and stuff like that? Don't you have something to do? Aren't we, like, in the middle of, like, the biggest, most horrible thing in the history of um, of the world? Well, yeah, that would be the economy, uh, but never mind. No one's talking about that. You know, we, we're too busy uh, fighting the uh, unseen enemy with the experts on the front lines, the, quote, front lines, uh, you you are getting paid. You you chose to be there. You knew the risks. I mean, you do this all the time. How many doctors have seen people with the flu and contagious diseases, right? I mean, if you want to honor a doctor, honor the proctologist, man. They're, that's a hero. No one, my God, who would want to be that? Well, I mean, but I guess they volunteer to do it as well. But how about them? No one's talking about the poor proctologist, right? No, we got to talk about this other guy. All these, you know, the front line guys and so... I don't know, just more of the same old nonsense. I, I can't even, it just, I don't even like looking at it. I don't even know why I bother. That's why I started another channel. I needed a different outlet. It's one thing to come in here and like point all this stuff out all the time, point more stuff out, complain about it, point stuff out, you know, going to the other websites and they're pointing stuff out and look, look, it's not real. Look, it's fake. Look, it's not real. Yeah, okay, I get it. I, it's not real. All right, well, how, how many times do I have to prove to myself that nothing is real and it's all fake? You know, and spend the rest of my life, hey, look, it's fake. Yeah, we know. We, you, you pointed that out 25 years ago. Uh, what else did you do? And so I started something else because I had to find something something productive, right? You know, go out there and grow some corn or some potatoes or something. But anyway, I try not to look at this stuff because it just chaps my hide. Everyone wants to be, they want, they call each other, we're heroes, look out, we're just heroes, everyone's so excited, it just goes so, I mean, it goes toe to and toe, hand in hand with, with the whole narcissistic thing, right, everyone, oh, look at it, just so good, I'm just so helpful, and, and look at me, oh, look at me, let me go post it on my Facebook, I, I'm just so helpful, ah, anyway, whatever, alright, that's it, I'm done, the end.